Poetry is not for wimps. Presented by the Mississippi Poetry Society. Do you think poetry is just for wimp? Think again. It takes a strong person to be involved in poetry. There are poems about battles, monstrous fights. There are poems about heroes and heroines, brave people saving the day. There are poems about sports and athletes of all categories of sports. There are poems about strange happenings. You might be surprised at what goes on in a poem. And that's just for starters. Let's take a look at some of the things you can find in poetry. Talk about battles. How about the Charge of the Light Brigade by Alfred Lord Tennyson? In verse 6, Tennyson says, When can their glory fade? Oh, the wild charge they made! All the world wondered. Honor the charge they made. Honor the Light Brigade. Noble 600. Think about that. 600 people who will always be remembered because of a poem written by Alfred Lord Tennyson. And of course, when you have battles, when you have war, when you have difficulties, you have times of trouble. That's when heroes and heroines come into play. Let's talk about them for a moment. Those people who come to the forefront when there's a need. Some of them are folks like The Brave at Home by Thomas Buchanan Reed. He honors the people who worked at home during times of national strife, the home front heroes. Or the Red Cross Nurses by Thomas L. Masson. He talks about the nurses who tended the wounded. Both of these are samples that will get you started on talking about heroes and heroines. But there's more. In Flanders Fields by John McCrae, perhaps one of the best known battlefield poems out there. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly scarce heard amid the guns below. And he goes on to talk about what those who died in battle might say to us, the living. His poem became the inspiration for the red poppies that you see on Veterans Day and Memorial Day. A simple poem about the heroes of Flanders Fields. It made a lasting impression. Let's talk about sports and sports figures. Every sport has poetry written about it and its participants, whether it's an old sport or a new sport, even pickleball. As recently as that has come into being, there are poems written about it, and you can share them. What's your favorite sport? I promise you'll find something about it. For instance, America's favorite pastime, baseball. There's a baseball story that began with a poem, and another poem continued it. Some poems continue on. When Ernest Lawrence Thayer wrote Casey at the Bat, it was sad. It ends with Casey striking out. 
there is no joy in Mudville, Mighty Casey has struck out. That's the closing line. It's a terribly sad ending. Oh, but he got a second chance in Casey's Revenge by Grantlin Rice, writing under the pen name of James Wilson. That's the beauty of a poem. It can inspire other poems or other writings. And so the story goes on. Might seem a little strange to you, but that's how poetry works, creating inspiration upon inspiration. Now, admittedly, some of that inspiration is pretty strange. And when it comes to talking about strange happenings, the shooting of Dan McGrew and the cremation of Sam McGee, two poems by Robert W. Service are definitely strange tales. Service wrote these poems based on his experiences in the Yukon during the gold rush days. Pretty exciting, right? But also a little on the strange side. And it doesn't get any stranger than his tale of the shooting of Dan McGrew. A bunch of the boys were whooping it up in the Malamute Saloon. The kid that handles the music box was playing a jag time tune. Back of the bar in a solo game sat dangerous Dan McGrew. And watching his luck was his light of love, the lady that's known as Lou. And it just gets more exciting from there. When we talk about the Yukon, we talk about the excitement. <laughs> It can get to be very exciting. That's poetry for you. Strange, exciting, inspirational. No, poetry isn't for wimps. From the epic stories like Beowulf to today's modern poems of wars and heroes, sports and aliens, You'll need courage and a big heart to be involved with poetry. Whether you read it or write it or both, it's a new adventure, new fun, and new excitement every time. Enjoy the variety of poetic themes and styles that are available, the rhythms, the patterns, the subjects, the forms. You'll be surprised at how exciting poetry can be. No, poetry is definitely not for wimps.